มันนี่ก็ตัวชาวบ้านก็ชิบยันนี่เลยอยู่นั่นเดียวนี่เนี่ยสบายแล้วไม่ชิวมีเลยผู้เสียตรงว่าสับปุ่งเลวเยอะแกบาปีตัวชาวบ้านเลยเว้ยไม่กินเสบาจินเดียมันพอเลยคนละวัตุมาสับปุ่งเยอะแกบาปีแล้ววัตุมาเปียบปุ่งเนาะวิรุติยาปีตาเสียพี่ลูกจินาเนี่ยพี่ตรงแกบาปเลยทีนี้เนาะปีตาสีก็ตื่นตัวเลยพี่ยาเลยไม่รู้ยังนี่ทำอะไรยศเดย์ยศาเราทักถึง how failure to observe with mindfulness what's happening at any of the six sense doors at the moment of occurrence Leads to the uh, turning of the cycles of uh, suffering, and how the these cycles are connected to one another. And he also mentioned briefly how the development of the eightfold five factors within oneself can. <clears throat> help to cut through this cycles of uh, suffering. He also asked the question <laughs> at the close of yesterday's talk, and he is still expecting an answer. No, no, day I'm seeing I'm in my look. เลือดที่เราเนี่ยเราโยกิเอกะพี่หนีจากไปเลย Although there may not be a verbal answer, s a d a is confident that the answer is being manifested in your practice. คุณยายโยกิเอกูจะพี่เปียมาละ Uh, is the sadha going to be your representative in answering that question? Mani ya, pungsa ni dekhu thoke baare, jabu ne sabi ya. Jare kaita ma ten share khanda daita punda Jyuna diyari chaujju seppo ni Mumya shinya to bobe sura ri bali Ma ti lu Tuwe mhuta na pshita ri Swe la ubara mshita ri bali Eta chaujju bira kili tao pshita ri bali Eta kama wa pshita ri bali Kama wa kani bira upaka wa pshita ri bali Eta riya ro ta shimu ma lura wa Tine Jare kaita ma be Jare jare tu Si asai chinta kai bira Swa swa mi mi shumha ni ye Shumha pa mi yare kha jaro Eri kaita ma ten share Jamu po ma bo li se kri li Sai 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 cha ni Kani ka ta ma li 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 pshin ni bale Eri tu pshin ye สิ่งเรื่องใหญ่ต่างนี่เราได้เวทเชื่อมาเดชเชื่อต่างเนี่ยเชื่อมาเดชเชื่อต่างเราได้เสียเชื่อมาเสียเชื่อต่างนี่ได้เวทเมื่อไหร่มาเนี่ยจีโม่เข้าเสียต่างนี่ได้เวทแต่ไหนมาเนี่ยเลยเชื่อจีโม่ต้องลองเข้าอย่างสิ่งเรื่องใหญ่ต่างนี่ได้เวทเอ็ดอะไรที่ยังไม่ได้ด้วยมาพอ Yesterday I had pointed out a particular case of how these Three cycles of suffering are set in motion when one does not note mindfully what is happening at the ear door during the hearing process. 
uh, we shall not go over again what has been said. But instead today, Isada would want to talk about uh, how uh, at that very moment of hearing, when the hearing process is occurring, if one is applying diligent effort, penetrative, accurate, and firm mindfulness, then at that moment there would be what is known as momentary concentration. The mind is with the hearing process at that moment, the mindfulness is with the process, and it's picking up any of the three elements that are present, be it the uh, hearing consciousness, or the hearing base, or the sound itself. And assuming also that there, there are 60 moments of mindfulness per minute, then one can uh, approximately calculate the uh, amount of mindfulness that one can have the opportunity to develop from moment to moment if one tries. No, she won't buy me a car. The car, 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 ตายุทีไหนแล้วออกนากะจีดาเวนากะก้าวหนาเวสระบอนี่เอ้ยดูตีตัวไหนเนี่ยแต่อคันตะตั้วตะบะตาระยุกโกตีตัวละบาเพรา
a material phenomena. That basic ignorance is dispelled. Also dispelled is another aspect of ignorance, which is delusion. Deluded the, del the deluded mind that thinks that there is uh, that the hearing base is permanent and so forth. So that too is dispelled. The kind of karma a jamu will save money. When I be a good idea, said he's a mari. She had a kaibori. ตันสิยောက်ตามจ้าเนี่ยตันสิยောက်ตามไอ้หลุตันสิยောက်ตามเนี่ยอะไรตันสิยောက်ตามเนี่ยอะค่ะนาเนี่ยมาไต่ไข
uh, phenomenon is that it faces or encounters or it uh, goes toward the sound which is its object. So that knowledge of hearing consciousness for what it really is again dispels the ignorance of non-practice, the ignorance that comes out of non-practice, the basic ignorance, and the deluded ignorance that comes out of wrong practice. <laughs> ตวีตะบอเนี่ยขันซะเลยตะบอดิติติกว่าเนี่ยติบุงก็มีติเลยสิ่งเนี่ยจ้าได้อตันลีหามิสิอิจีดะมาป้องสงนี้จ้าเล
uh, sound, the striker element, and the receptor element, which is the hearing base, belong to the skanda, that is called rupa skanda, the skanda of uh, form, so to speak, as it is usually translated, of matter. Um, and when one comes to, when the mindfulness picks up hearing consciousness, then one comes to understand uh, the true nature of the consciousness skanda. And uh, also with the feeling of a good, a good or bad feeling associated with the hearing. That comes under the skanda of feeling. And uh, the recognition of the mental factor of, ignish, of uh, impingement, of contact, that is again uh, a quality that belongs to the, uh, the, uh, the Sankara Skanda, the Skanda of uh, mm. Mm. And that, of course, Saro says that it would be better to just say uh, that there are only two types of skanda in this case, the matter skanda and the uh, mind skanda. ซอตาเยตนาอุติเลยขอเลยเดี๋ยวสัตตาสัตตายุงติตัวเลยชีนะสัตตาเยตนาอุติเลยขอเลยอตังติติตัวละเดี๋ยวจัตติเลยตัว
the consciousness element and the Dhamma element and so forth. ပြီးတော့တိဆာနေနေပြောမှာဆိုရင်အာလုံးအဲ့ဒီကြားတဲ့ခိုက်တာမှာထင်ရှားတဲ့ယုံနေနာတရားတွေဟာတူကတိဆ
and occurring at the ear. At times, they are able even to be aware of the hearing consciousness appearing from moment to moment as uh, the hearing process. Um, so that ability to penetrate into that rapid and momentary birth and death of these uh, mental and, and physical phenomena uh, gives rise to a higher level of insight and understanding into the characteristics of all these mental and material phenomena that they arise from moment to moment and they are impermanent and that in this impermanence in this impermanence this arising from moment to moment and passing away at the same time is in itself suffering it is unsatisfactory it uh, it is not something that can be relied on. There's no refuge in it. It is totally unsatisfactory. And at times one may be able to see another aspect of the behavior of mind and matter. One can see, one can perhaps at times feel that there is no self in it. One can feel the uh, anatta quality of nama and rupa, of mind and matter how they come and go uh, of their own accord and there's no one behind it that it just comes and goes in a endless and boring process <laughs> when one is able to see into this momentary arising and passing away of these phenomena, to see their impermanence, then one uh, shatters the wrong perception that things are imp that things are permanent. And when one, on the other hand, can uh, comprehend the impermanence, not sorry, the suffering, unsatisfactoriness of all these uh, transient mind and matter, then one is able to dispel the wrong perception of happiness the wrong perception that there is happiness uh, in that there is happiness or satisfactoriness in this whole uh, mind and body. Thirdly, if one is able to see very clearly, intuitively, this uh, aspect of non-self, that these phenomena just come and go, of themselves, there's no one behind, it's selfless, then again it uh, will dispel the wrong perception that there is a self, that, that there is a permanent entity uh, in our minds and body. <laughs> จงจูเสียดีอะไรเยอะมันเยอะบางสิ่งเยอะบางทุกบ่ได้ดูเชื่อบางสิ่งอะไรมันดีบางดีเลยสิเยอะแต่มาเมื่อเด็กก็จะช
if one is unmindful of the hearing process at this moment of occurrence, then there is no purity of mind. The mind is probably filled by one of the many varieties of kilesas. Uh, on the other hand, with mindful noting, being with the hearing process, attentively, accurately, precisely, penetratively, then one's mind is purified at that moment, and one also uh, can penetrate into their true nature, gain an understanding into their true nature like we described just now. The, the true nature of mind and matter, their interrelationship in terms of conditionality, uh, their characteristics of uh, impermanence, unsatisfactoriness, suffering, and uh, non-selfless. So when one comes to know that, then very automatically the basic ignorance that comes out of non-practice, ignorance, uh, ignorant uh, of impermanence, of suffering, of non-self, uh, that basic ignorance is, of course, uh, dispelled. And the deluded ignorance that comes out of wrong practice is also dispelled because uh, one is no longer deluded into thinking that what is impermanent <coughs> is permanent, what is suffering is uh, satisfactory and happy, what is non-self is self. <laughs> Mashulu Matiluchi Awiza Kore Moha Giridaga Asa Jare Kaitama Tinshare Yuna Diari Ha Gilidae Pia Boni Gilida Bumi Pietore Agudema Madai Shiro Didi Didi Nero Gilida Boro A lay out of Mount Yoga, a Lulu Yoga, the Lubori Jarek kita mah tercari itu nanti hari pun, ni ni pola deh, ni ni pula deh. Kita punya bumi kor deh, papi punya bumi deh, ubah sana punya bumi boleh sila lah. When one is unmindful of the hearing process, then the kalesas would simply uh, come in and uh, engulf the mind. And uh, therefore that particular moment when the mind is not mindful is actually the ground, the playground of kilesas, of the defilements. It's defilement ground, kilesa bumi. On the other hand, if there is mindfulness and one is noting, being aware, being with the moment of hearing, then there is the opportunity for insight to occur. And therefore it is called vipassana bhumi, vipassana jnana bhumi. It's the ground for insight, knowledge to arise. วิปัสสนาสรติเรญญาเมรุตัมมิญญาเวลุขมัทถาเรมังกะรอวิอมิยุมิยุตอฉิญญาอาภิปัตตนามีติเรญญาเนอมิยุมิยุตอฉิญญ
if we break up the word, it uh, can be uh, the word can be broken into three parts: we, vasana, and jnana. Jnana, of course, means knowledge, and vasana means seeing, and uh, we means according to various modes. The knowledge that arises out of seeing according to various modes. What is meant by according to various modes? This, of course, refers to the three characteristics of impermanence, of suffering, and non-selfness. When the yogi is really concentrated and he is able to see, for example, at the hearing process, how sounds come and go from moment to moment, or how the hearing consciousness comes and goes from moment to moment, uh, then he becomes aware of the impermanence of that moment, of that particular uh, phenomena. He also comes at times to realize its suffering and also its non-selfness. So that is vipassana, because he sees, he or she, sees what is happening according to various modes. To the mode of impermanence, according to the mode of impermanence, of suffering, or of non-selfness. But on which ground does that from what from which ground does that insight, that knowledge, that vipassana knowledge arise? It arises from the ground of mind and matter that is happening during the hearing process. That insight comes because one is looking at the material and mental phenomena occurring at that particular moment. So that's why these uh, mind and matter are collectively called Vipassana Bhumi, the ground for Vipassana insight to arise. ไอ้ไก่ตําหาตะนาแลกินตัวเลยกินบ่ว่าတော့ตาชวยได้อตันนี้จ้าจินเนี่ยตะนามะชื่อบ่ဖြစ်တော့เลยอมันได้ติตั
Pai muka isa alu lu pi si tua le. Hari jara kaita ma te chara duka te sa. Pai cha di jen a pshe. Uriya te sa le ba pai muka isa pi si tua le. Te shen le. นอสุนะนอสุนี่จะได้ไข่ตามันเทศะได้ด้วยกันเทศะได้อยู่โลโลเสไปชาติไล่ตาเนี่ยคนตายหมดทันทันเลยไปชุบตัวเนี่ยว
So the cycle of karmic resultance is automatically uh, broken. Bane Kilidao Kama Upa Gaudi Bjani Dharo Lo Sura Shumate Saitam Ha Upa Baga Me Kore Riya Me Shibye Loki Me Ti If in answer to the question how it is possible to shatter these three cycles of defilements, karma and its resultants, one can say that with the power of mindfulness, with the moment of mindfulness that is equipped with all of the preliminary eight path factors. ကြရဲ့ခိတ္တမှာဒီကြရဲ့ယုံနာကြောင်းကြိုးဆက်ဘူးမြင်းမြင်သဘောပဲဆိုတာတိတိတာအာစမာဒိတိမဲ့ခင
ว่าจะไม่กินนี่ผิดนี่ได้มั้ยมันตะยาเนี่ยตัพพะหุคูมหุมิสสะสะระหุดาริยะชောင်းนี่เลยส่วนสมมาคัมมะตะไม่กินน
one comes to understand the true nature of suffering things. And uh, that is what is directly known. By directly knowing the fact of suffering things, the presence of suffering things for what they are, one automatically gets to dispel the cause of suffering that is stated in the Second Noble Truth. There is no chance, no opportunity at all for craving to arise at that particular moment. Then again, with the knowing of suffering things for what they really are, there is a momentary succession of defilements, which again is stated in the Third Noble Truth as a succession of suffering. And finally, that particular moment of bare awareness that is able to see into the true nature of suffering things constitutes the development of the Eightfold Noble Path which again is stated in the Fourth Noble Truth the path to the succession of suffering so it's like in one blow uh, you down four things just that one precious moment of bare awareness then four things are gained <clears throat> the essence of what the Sayadaw is trying to say is the actual uh, is the uh, development of the Eightfold Noble Path, which is the Fourth Noble Truth. Hmm. So with the development of these eight for eight path factors activating them at each moment of uh, bare awareness and attentive observation. One can see how the three cycles of Kilesa, of Kama and of its resultants are broken. And of course this is the answer to the question that the Sarah asked yesterday and he is uh, Answering the question on your behalf. Yogi Mia Kure, no name of Shina in Melo. Second name of Laboli. A lone at Pina Yavazi, lone at Shina, you don't know so. Luna Nova Chonin and Nevamo. Name of Pina Yavazi, Sutawi and Adinitia, Nikon Cholepa. Although you have not answered the question as desired by the Sada, to a verbal uh, response. The Sada hopes that you will be, uh, will be able to answer the question in your own practice and that uh, eventually you will realize Nibbani bliss. With that, he closes tonight's talk. <laughs>